gather today on the third Sunday of Advent, uh, the Sunday, the pink candle, Sunday of joy, um, and we're, no better way to celebrate the joy of Jesus' coming than with our children to lead us in the service today. So our service is a little different today. Uh, the children will be leading us. Anything that's in the bulletin in bold, we invite the whole congregation to participate in. Uh, we will be turning later to the hymnal, but I'll give you a note when we get to that point for our prayers near the end of the service. Please rise. of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord has made known his word. Alleluia. The word of his salvation. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord established his covenant forever. He has sent redemption to his people. Christ the Lord, our Savior, everlasting God, and Mary's Son. O God, let us worship him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Please be seated. We greet you, friends, from God to Kid. We welcome you in Jesus' name. We join with Christians everywhere who have their time and their hearts prepare to mark the birthday of God's Son for no other reason he has come. May God the Father, Son, and Spirit Grant faith that we may life inherit. Amen. From the first book of the Bible to the last, we hear about the light that God promised to send his people, the Messiah, who brings the gift of salvation through his birth as a human being, his perfect life, and his sacrificial death to pay for sin. God's prophet through the consistent message of hope for God's people through the years.
first given after Adam and Eve sinned. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and her offspring. You shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. Light a candle on the altar, for the years that pass will be. Plain it out of hand and fold it, one would come of Abram's seed. Now the Lord said to Abram, And you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Light a candle on the altar, giving light if it were here, for another Christmas promise of the star that would appear. I see him, but not now. I behold him, but not near. A star shall come out of Jacob, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel. Light a candle on the altar, still more bright than it shine, for the prophecy foretelling Christ the spring from David's line. Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, and he shall reign as king and deal wisely, and shall execute judgment and righteousness in the land. In his days Judah will be saved, and Israel will dwell securely. And this is the name by which he will be called. The Lord is our righteousness. Child of Christ the Lord. 
She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Candles of Proclamation. The Christmas story is so much more than just a story. It is the true account of the birth of a Savior for all people. Jesus was born as a human so that he could fulfill the law on our, our behalf and die as a perfect sacrifice for sin. True life that gives life to everyone has come into the world. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration when Cernius was governor of Syria. And all went to be registered each from his own town. And Joseph went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth to Judah, to the, south, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David. To be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. While they were there, time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in, laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the Like on the altar, like a light most bright and clear, like a light that shines most glorious, for the Savior is now here. With these candles brightly burning, listen now to what we say, for you will know it then quite plainly why there is a Christmas day. Listen all to what I say. Jesus Christ is born today. Listen, this is all I want to say. Jesus Christ is born today. Nothing better I can say. Jesus Christ is born today. I'm so happy I can say it. Jesus Christ is born today. shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of the great joy that will be, be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby swapped wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was an angel, the angel and multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God on highest, and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. Why one for the heavenly choir, thrilling over the Savior's birth, why it was their celebrating God's will to us on earth? When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made us known to. 
light a candle on the altar for the angels who have this blood, shape the shepherds who give God promise. Jesus in a manger. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. Light a candle on the altar, as did in the stable shine, by that light the faithful shepherds gave upon the child and the daughter. <laughs> Grace upon grace. This is the candle of love. Light a candle on the altar for the love of Christ. Over. And he came to earth to save us from the walk and the people's faith. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever, bless, whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have, ever let, but have eternal life. In this the love of God was made manifest among us, that God sent his only Son into the world so that we might live through him. This is the candle of peace. Light a candle on the altar for the heavenly peace of heart, that the hearts of the Savior, who is faithful and important. Therefore, since we have just been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. This is the candle of joy. <coughs> Light a candle on the altar for the joy that Jesus brings. Shared among the host of heaven, and God's children on this earth. We also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. And the ransom of the Lord shall return and come to Zion and sing. And everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. They shall obtain gladness and joy. And sorrow and sign shall flee away.
with all this set up here, we are not going to try and pass the offering plates. The offering plates are at the door. The ushers are going to bring forward the few pads to let us know and to record your attendance here today. And then we're going to turn to page 282 for the suffragists for the prayers for today. Please rise.
congregation may be seated. We have a few announcements. We're going to give thanks to our children and uh, Ms. Merrill and all the adults. There's a lot to give thanks for for uh, yesterday's work, and uh, we're going to center our thanks on good old Saint Nick Jason. Uh, you guys did a fabulous job. Jason smiled for two hours straight. <laughs> We've got more on the way, of course, as we head uh, closer and closer to Christmas. This Wednesday will be our final Wednesday Vespers through the Advent season. It's, uh, it's at both 5 o'clock and 7 o'clock with a meal in between. Uh, we've got an interesting reading that is one of the less read readings of the Old Testament from the book of Judges that we'll be talking about. Uh, there was a, uh, another little town of Bethlehem story in the Bible. Uh, in Judges. So come and join us this Wednesday to find out what happens. Uh, it's a fun little story with the Judges. So, uh, and then we'll continue on our theme of Jesus as the perfect man of God. Other announcements people want to bring to our attention. Corey. In the back, uh, when we're all done, especially for the wonderful performance of the kids, we have black cocoa and cookies and all sorts of yummy stuff. So please grab something. Our cocoa cookies and also those bags back there are for the kids. Uh, thanks for all you've done today. Uh, other announcements people want to bring to our attention? Dave. So we've got a, a new challenge for the uh, chili cook-off in January, probably January 27th. Um, we're going to do a pine face. And so there are three jars in the back that have Patrick's picture and Jason's picture. <laughs> and mine in the middle kind of pumped the both of them. So you put them in their <laughs> jar. He said, what happens if there's equal amount of money in all three jobs? Then, then I'll put a dollar in yours and Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to put five in the game. <laughs> there will be only one pie, and we will be certain that there will not be a tie. Yep. So whoever's jar is the most full of money, yep. his face will be full of pie. Yep. Mm -hmm. At Chili Cook Up. At the Chili Cook Up. Yes. That now you have an auction at the auction. We're going to have an auction at the chili cook-off. Mm -hmm. And whoever bids the most money is actually throw the pie at that person. So if somebody's brother were to come, uh, uh, my son, uh, um, does it have to be a member of the congregation? Who could no, the pie? if they're at the chili cook-off, they're, they're, they're anybody. Yeah. If, 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 if my daughter my, my So everyone wants to go back there and put money in Dave's jar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Adam wants to throw the pot. Is that going to be a I'm not worried at all. Your brother will be here next week and can put money into the jar. If he knows about the jar. So <laughs> Other than that, people want to bring to our attention. Suzanne. Suzanne. Yes, I just want to bring everyone's attention to, of course, our Holy Cross End of Year fundraiser. Um, I'm sure that you remember that you could do the tithing, they can post check for money for the fundraiser, or do one check, and just stipulate how much you want to go towards the fundraiser. Thank you. You can't do it without y'all. Thank you. I failed to mention that the fundraiser is being matched, right? We have matched yeah, the fundraiser. Yeah, the fundraiser is being matched. 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 So for this upcoming weekend, our 
Sunday morning service on the 24th will be the fourth Sunday of Advent. So there will be some Christmas and stuff there, but it will still be like a regular <laughs> Sunday service. The Christmas Eve service will be the 7 p.m. service on the evening of the 24th. And then we have our Christmas community service, Christmas Day, 10 a.m. So that's the schedule coming. Yeah. We're not having Sunday school that Sunday. There's no Sunday school on on uh, Any other announcements? God's blessings on your week.